Hey, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe and welcome to my third installment of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Breakdown and Comparison series and today I'm going to be covering the highly requested weapons that are the B23R and the Cap 40 pistols. To no surprise, these two pistols are easily becoming everyone's favorite secondary to use and it's pretty obvious why both of these pistols are slaying machines. I'm not even surprised anymore when I outgun SMGs and assault rifles using these pistols because they are honestly just that good. Exactly which one is better is kind of hard to say. Besides that one is full auto and one is a burst fire, these weapons are fairly similar. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of these similarities as well as finding out some of the differences. And remember if you enjoyed the video, please take the time to leave it a like rating. But anyways, let's hop right in. So where we see the first similarity between these two weapons are with the damages. So both of them have a 45 to 19 point damage, meaning up close you will be able to get those 3 bullet kills. So with the B23R, you want to make sure that you get that first burst into your enemy. And with the Cap 40s, these things kill just as fast as the MSMC and the PDW up close. And when you dual wield them, you can basically kill them instantly up to around 30 feet. But again, with the B23R, you really want to make that first burst count. Now when you get a little longer range, the B23R seems to be more effective. And the reason for it is once you get out of that 3 bullet kill zone, which is around 50 feet, you can drop an enemy with 2 bursts no matter how far away they are. Of course, that is assuming that you hit every bullet, which rarely happens. But that can literally be across the map. And if you hit that person with every bullet from those two bursts, you will get the kill. Now taking a look at the rate of fires, the Cap 40 is SMG like with that 900 RPM, which is identical to the MP7 and the Vector. The B23R is obviously going to be lower because it is a burst fire, around 675 RPM. However, that is still pretty fast. The SWAT 556, which is a 3 round burst fire assault rifle, shoots at around 450 RPM, which explains why this little pistol drops enemies so quickly. But before you start thinking that these weapons are crazy overpowered, both of them have a measly 15 round standard clip, which is really nothing. It allows you to take out an enemy or two, but with 15 bullets, you really can't do much. As for load times, they both clock in at about 1.5 seconds, which is actually pretty fair considering how powerful they are, and taking into account their magazine size. Now taking a look at the recoil patterns, the B23R's bullet spread is obviously much tighter because it is a burst pistol, but for the hip fire spreads, the Cap 40s take it without a doubt. All the bullets stay pretty close to one another, which just emphasizes its similarity with other submachine guns. When it's all said and done, I'd have to give the edge to the Cap 40 just because its ability to drop enemies so quickly. I still wouldn't suggest that you use solely this weapon in your loadout, but having to quickly switch to when you run out of ammo on your primary will definitely save you a couple deaths. But again, that's just my opinion. Feel free to leave yours and let me know out of these two weapons, which do you prefer? Anyways, that's it for this video and thank you guys for watching. If you have a suggestion for what two weapons I should compare next time, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying the series, please remember to leave it a like rating. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. And if you see something I'm doing wrong, feel free to let me know as well. I'll be tweeting out the winners of the giveaway either tomorrow or Wednesday. So if you entered, be sure to check your Twitter messages every now and then to see if you won. Don't want you to miss out on it. Also, if you did enter but aren't following me, make sure you do because if you aren't, I won't be able to send you a direct message saying you won, which would be unfortunate. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well. One last thing, I'll probably be making the Elite Clan tomorrow. So if you want to join, go check out the video on the left. And if you missed my last comparison video, click the one on the right. But I hope you guys are having a great day. This is Uncle Kobe and I'm out. Peace.